So my father, they're thinking, yes, six months, no problem, no problem, we'll come back. I'll come back. You'll come back, you'll get married, have family, carry on the family line. But my service to Gurudev is not to carry on my material family line. Carry on the spiritual family line. That is our service to Sri Guru. So I remember in Gopinath Bhavan, there's an area Gurudev would sit with his assembly of sannyasis, swamis. Up on the, Gurudev would sit on his Vyasan and on that there would be a platform. And at that point, how many? 20, 25. Fulgent sannyasis, disciples of Swami Prabhupada, disciples of Pujapad, Bhama Goswami Maharaj. Beautiful, transcendental vision. And there would be 1,000, 1,200 people seated there, pilgrims seated there from the West, from all different countries and from different states in India and on the balconies. And then if you go from the courtyard where Gurudev would sit, then there was a little area, you could say a private viewing gallery. Where was the private gallery? The Sevak quarters where they cook in the kitchen. Private gallery. Private seating. This is VIP seating. Sevak means servants. Those who are very prestigious, very dignified, they don't like to sit with the servants. So servant seating is private seating, right? Every class Gurudev would give, everyone, like Gopanandi Mataji tells us, everyone's figuring out where is my place in the pecking order. She said she always had her seat. Shamarani Mataji, Shripad Shamarani Didi, Vrindavan Vilas Didi, and Gopanandi Mataji. One, two, three, tears. Everyone has their place. Right? So there in the kitchen, you go through there, and it wasn't a kitchen that's from this world. It's a transcendental kitchen. Like a baby replica of Shirada's kitchen. It's not an ordinary kitchen. How do they cook in the spiritual world? Right? Think about it. How do they cook in the spiritual world? Vaishnavs, sadhus, they design kitchens that remind them of that place. How can they feel like, oh, today I'm cooking with Sri Radha.